Whether it's over-the-counter testosterone boosters, horny goat weed, or miraculous libido pills only available at dodgy local gas stations, there are surely many things that men will attempt to take in an effort to improve their testosterone levels as well as their libido to maintain both as they age. However, instead of seeking for a fast fix magic pill, it may make far more sense for many men to start looking at their exercise habits, nutrition, and other specific factors. This is due to the fact that your diet and the food you consume may have a large impact on many different hormones located inside your body, resulting in a chain of good or negative consequences. But how can you know which foods are effective and which are just a gimmick? The problem is that almost every supposed superfood from quinoa to tomatoes has been claimed to help boost testosterone levels without much supporting evidence. So today, I wanna to give you 10 foods that have been shown through research to help increase testosterone levels naturally, beginning with a more specific food group, saturated and monounsaturated fat sources. Multiple studies have indicated that higher fat diets where 35 to 40% of total daily calorie intake is made up of fat can help raise testosterone to a larger extent than lower fat diets where less than 20% of total daily calorie intake is made up of fat. However, not all fats have this favorable influence on testosterone levels. These studies, for example, suggest that saturated fat and monounsaturated fat can enhance testosterone levels but other polyunsaturated fats high in omega-6 have the reverse impact. This association between increased fat consumption and higher testosterone levels is unsurprising given that testosterone is generated from cholesterol. Meanwhile, polyunsaturated fats are thought to reduce testosterone levels by promoting inflammation throughout the body. Limit your use of polyunsaturated fats, such as canola oil, maize oil, and sunflower oil. That being said, not all saturated fat is bad for you. Eating hot dogs, for example, to boost your saturated fat consumption might be bad and will not benefit you in the same way that adding one or two tablespoons of coconut oil to your diet will. Eggs, notably egg yolks from pasteurized hens or chickens, are also excellent sources of saturated fat and cholesterol. And olive oil is one of the greatest forms of monounsaturated fat you can include in your diet. In fact, one study found that adding extra virgin olive oil to a Moroccan man's diet for three weeks resulted in a 17.4% boost in testosterone levels. Aside from dietary lipids, several studies demonstrate that a high protein consumption might result in reduced testosterone levels. And this is most likely due to protein itself suppressing testosterone synthesis. It's just that if you consume a lot of protein, you're more likely to get less calories from carbohydrates and fats, which can have a negative influence on testosterone. So keep in mind that there is no need to raise protein consumption over one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Number two, ginger. While ginger root is most commonly used as a spice or to aid digestion, it can also boost testosterone levels. Unfortunately, most studies investigating the relationship between testosterone and ginger are conducted on rodents, and studies on rodents do not provide the highest level of confidence. However, rodents do have a similar endocrine system to humans. In a 2018 review of all the data available on this topic, discovered that ginger supplementation increased testosterone production in males. The good news is that we are not limited to relying on evidence from rodent studies. There is one human study available, and it discovered that treating 75 males with ginger raised testosterone production levels by 17.7%. One major limitation of the study is that the participants were infertile men. So we won't know for sure whether the same spike in testosterone would occur in fertile men until we have more direct studies on the subject. But researchers believe ginger may have the ability to increase testosterone in a few ways. For example, it boosts the synthesis of luteinizing hormone, a hormone required for the release of testosterone. It can also lower oxidative stress and improve blood flow to our reproductive organs. If you want to incorporate ginger into your diet, a fantastic method to do so is to add it to tea, soup, or even supplement with it. Number three, shellfish. Shellfish, particularly oysters, may be powerful testosterone boosters as well as a nutritious meal to include in your diet. They are one of the few sources of vitamin D in our diet, and sadly, 
42% of the population is vitamin D deficient. This is absolutely not good because this vitamin has receptors in practically every cell in our bodies, including our reproductive organs. Multiple studies have identified a link between vitamin D levels in the blood and testosterone levels. One major study, including 2,300 men, discovered that men with enough vitamin D levels had consistently greater testosterone levels than men with insufficient vitamin D levels. In fact, the researchers discovered a strong relationship between changes in plasma D levels and testosterone levels. Men had higher levels of vitamin D during the warm months of the year, around summertime, because they were getting more sunlight. And their testosterone levels were significantly higher during the same months, which appeared to be a perfect reflection of their elevated D levels during those months. Having said that, vitamin D isn't the only reason shellfish might be good for your testosterone. They are also one of the richest suppliers of zinc, a mineral that is necessary for reproductive health. There's a growing body of information that shows that not receiving enough zinc can drastically lower testosterone levels. Number four, cruciferous vegetables. Broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, and Brussels sprouts are examples of them. Cruciferous vegetables are high in not just healthy vitamins, but also indole 3 carbonyl which can help inhibit an enzyme called aromatase, which can be highly advantageous to our testosterone levels. This is because while estrogen is largely a female sex hormone, males have trace quantities of it in their system as well. When testosterone is turned into estrogen by aromatase, estrogen is generated in males. By inhibiting that conversion with indole 3 carbonyl which we can obtain from foods like cruciferous vegetables, we would end up with less testosterone converting into estrogen, resulting in increased testosterone levels. Indole 3 carbonyl will also convert estrogen into a weaker hormone, allowing your body to drain it out through your urine. All of these factors contribute to a decrease in estrogen levels, which is favorable for testosterone synthesis, since high estrogen levels block the release of the luteinizing hormone. This hormone is generated in the pituitary gland and boosts testosterone synthesis. Thus, we don't want to diminish it. Furthermore, cruciferous vegetables are high in magnesium, which aids in testosterone synthesis. Number five, pomegranates. Pomegranates have been a fertility symbol since ancient Greece, and we now know that they are high in polyphenols, which are potent antioxidants that can really boost fertility. One study involving 60 participants examined the effect of ingesting pure pomegranate for two weeks, and the researchers discovered that pomegranate juice might considerably enhance testosterone levels by an average of 24%. Pomegranate may provide these advantages because, like cruciferous vegetables, it contributes to an anti-aromatase activity, which helps to inhibit the conversion of testosterone to estrogen. Number six, sorghum. To comprehend its impact, you must first realize that your body contains an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase, whose purpose is to convert a portion of your testosterone into 5-DHT on a regular basis. According to some data, DHT is a type of testosterone with even more androgenic activity, which may have an even more significant influence on muscle building. However, DHT has recently earned a poor name due to its relation to hair loss. The difficulty is that we are quick to categorize things as bad or good, but if we categorize DHT as harmful, we must disregard all of its positives, which include its capacity to improve mood, vitality, strength, weight loss, and libido, to mention a few. The fact is that hair loss is caused by more than simply the quantity of testosterone or DHT in the body. It's down to the sensitivity of your hair follicles, which is determined by your genetics. In fact, Many men with low testosterone levels also suffer from hair loss. So if you are genetically predisposed to male pattern baldness and don't want to risk losing your hair, increasing DHT levels is probably not a good idea. But for men who don't have a family history of male pattern baldness, it may be beneficial to boost or at least not inhibit DHT production for muscle building purposes. The difficulty is that most grains, particularly those containing phytoestrogen such as soy, have been demonstrated to block the 5-alpha reductase enzyme lowering DHT levels. A study was done to see how different grains inhibit 5-alpha reductase 
And the researchers discovered that sorghum actually increased 5-DHT by over 55.7%, exceeding every other grain in the study. So if you want to include sorghum to your diet, you can probably find it in the health food department of the grocery store, and there are even sorghum supplements available. Number seven, coffee. Although coffee is technically a beverage, a small study of nine cyclists found that chewing coffee-laced gum during high-intensity exercise enhanced testosterone production by roughly 12% compared to a placebo group who did not consume caffeine-laced gum. Although a study with only nine cyclists isn't the most reliable data, another study with a slightly bigger sample size of 24 rugby players showed comparable results. After drinking coffee, their testosterone levels increased by roughly 15%. This study also revealed that the testosterone boost was dosage dependent with a greater 800 milligram dose of caffeine resulting in a 52% rise in testosterone. Caffeine can boost your energy and improve exercise performance. So drinking a cup of coffee before a workout may be beneficial. However, if you work out later in the day, caffeine can disrupt your sleeping schedule which is not only bad for muscle growth and fat loss, but also for your testosterone levels. As a result, make sure you plan beforehand. Number eight, onions. Onions have been shown in many mouse studies to help raise testosterone levels. One study even found that rodents who received high amounts of fresh onion juice for 20 days had testosterone levels more than 210% higher than those in the placebo group. In rats, it went as far as showing 300% increase in male hormone levels. Again, this doesn't directly translate over to humans because we are not mice and rats, but there's only one human study available now that also has found that consuming onion extract for four weeks helped increase testosterone levels, although it wasn't nearly as high an increase as what was seen in the rodents. In general, it does seem that onions can help increase testosterone levels unless you experience digestive issues. It won't hurt to add them to your diet, but more human research needs to be done to make a definitive conclusion about how much they boost testosterone levels. Nine, white button mushrooms. While there are no studies particularly on males that demonstrate white button mushrooms can stop aromatase from converting testosterone into estrogen, there are some studies based on research on breast cancer cells that suggest they can. White button mushrooms have been found to reduce the development of breast cancer tumors by blocking aromatase. Number 10, probiotic food. Probiotic meals are high in live bacteria that are comparable to the bacteria found in our intestines. These microbes provide a variety of clinical roles for our health, including amino acid synthesis, short chain fatty acid synthesis, vitamin K and vitamin B12 production, and non-digestible carbohydrate fermentation. They also appear to have a role in testosterone production, according to research on mice. One study discovered that male mice that drank pure lactic acid bacteria on a regular basis had greater testosterone levels than mice of the same age who did not drink this bacteria. So probiotic-rich foods like yogurt and sauerkraut may benefit testosterone levels. In some of these sources like yogurt, can also help raise your saturated fat intake, which can assist even more, as I said earlier. Number 11, use testosterone boosting estrogen suppressing supplements. Male Factor was created exclusively to assist men increase their testosterone levels and improve their energy and performance. Each year, men's bodies generate less and less usable testosterone as they get older. When you consider that a recent study found that men's testosterone levels have been falling over the past 20 years with no correlation to aging, health, or lifestyle, the situation rapidly becomes dire. By the way, it was discovered in the study that a male today has 17% less testosterone than a male of the same age in 1987. Male testosterone suppression, induced by a rise in the feminine hormone estrogen, is a big problem for many men over 40 according to recent studies. The good news is that you can naturally inhibit excessive estrogen production while also increasing testosterone levels. This mix of estrogen suppressing and testosterone boosting plant extracts contains only the best quality components including indole 3 carbidol chrysin, and resveratrol. This exclusive mix ensures that you may naturally decrease excess estrogen while gradually increasing your testosterone levels. Fenugreek, Tribulus terrestris, Panis ginseng, 
Vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and zinc are among the other components. These beneficial substances aid in the natural increase of testosterone and decrease of estrogen levels, as well as the maintenance of healthy blood pressure and digestion. I'll put a link in the description where you can get a free bottle of Male Factor so you can try it out for yourself. If you got some value out of this video, please click the like button and subscribe to get the next video I'm creating. I'm DC Fawcett, the founder of Life Renew, and I'll see you on the next one.